previously, we are focusing on the body this week. Oh. The girl sizzles in swimwear. Good girl, that's beautiful. The country girl Belinda. I don't like my fingers at all. Yeah, it's just those little things, the difference between a good model and a great model. Failed to make a splash. With the lowest score, that means you've been eliminated. <laughs> Tonight, I need to be competitive because I want to beat those girls. The top five fight it out for a Mazda campaign. Can you just keep taking heaps of photos? I think we got them. Can we keep trying some more? I mean, I don't want to call her a bitch. I need the whole car in it. Guys, we're wasting <laughs> time. But it was a challenge. And... Please welcome the amazing Miranda Kerr. Oh! A visit from a Victoria's Secret angel. Miranda Kerr is honestly like sent from heaven. That's cool. Sends the girls into meltdown. Sorry, the shoes are really big for me. I was just like cringing a little. I didn't feel like that went very well at all. feeling really upset and quite lonely. I just want to be here and learn and have fun and make friendships and I just don't, I don't feel like at the moment everyone's wanting the same thing as that. I just, I'm not sure. Last week was a horrible elimination. Who do you think can win this competition? Elena. Yeah. <sighs> when Cassidy said that I was her competition, I was just so overwhelmed. I still, I'm not that confident. Are you okay, honey? I'm meant to feel like I'm gonna win, but I don't. I lack so much confidence, but everyone just thinks I'm so confident and I'm so, and I'm just so not. I guess it just built up and I broke. I we were in top five. I know. We have to go home within two weeks. The challenges are getting so much harder. I feel like you really have to perform. I mean, half a point is what's in it now. Hello. Oh. Oh. Jen walked into the house and I was like, no friggin' way. Whenever she comes to the house, it's always a big challenge. You are our top five. <laughs> Can you believe it? No. <laughs> We're only two short weeks away from knowing which one of you will be Australia's next top model. <laughs> I really see the end inside. It's kind of weird to say I want to win, but I do. This week, to help all of you with that transition into the real world, you'll learn what it takes to be an influential model. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. What that means to me is you decide who you want to be and who you want to influence if you're a role model. What I take from influential and when it's with modeling, I think that means, Daisy, selling stuff. <laughs> Today, your task is to define your own personal brand and then use it to showcase the Mazda 2. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> to tell you all about it, please welcome brand ambassador for Mazda, Lauren Phillips. Now, Lauren, what can you tell the girls about today's challenge? Today, we want you to take the Mazdas out on the road and find a location that expresses who you are. <laughs> then we need you to take a photograph that displays your personal style and also showcases the Mazda. And remember, it's about the car, so you need to make sure you don't take all the focus away from the car. Then once you've got the shot, we need you to send it back to Mazda headquarters where I'll be waiting with Cheyenne and we'll be judging and scoring your images. That's, so That's cool. incredible. And the winner of today's challenge will feature in a national print campaign for Mazda 2. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'd want to win that over any prize in the competition. That would be the one to win. That's huge. That is massive. That's huge. So, Daisy, do you have an idea of your personal brand? I'd kind of go the beachy road, because I know a few really cool and colourful, bright beachy locations. OK. And Lanier? Probably a bit more, like, relaxed, tomboy kind of thing. And Elena, you're only 16, so do you have an idea of what type of model you want to be? Um... Oh, you put me on the spot. Um... I just don't know, so <laughs> that's going to be a struggle, but I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I have no idea. This is, like, the opposite of what I've been doing. Like, I've been studying, going to school, and now I'm expected to know what my brand is. So to get through this challenge, you'll split into two groups. You have two hours to complete the challenge. Oh. Jordan and Zach will be your designated drivers. Oh. <laughs> but you'll need to call on your fellow models to take your photos for you. No sabotaging them. Yeah. <laughs> OK, it's time to get you on the road. We've got just a few minutes to style yourselves. Good luck, girls. Bye. Think of mine. Very fashion. Damn. You look like you own a very nice car and have a very rich boyfriend. I think I'll just do that like over good. my shoulders or something. Like that. Ugh. I don't know if I should have a handbag. We only have two hours to get the shot and get back to Mazda headquarters. It's going to be so crazy. Let's go, girls. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What are your girls like planning on doing today? Like, what are your brands? Mine is kind of like bohemian hippie, I swear. Yeah, it looks like, kind of like Yeah, you artsy. definitely pull it off. What about you? Because I'm from Newcastle, it's like a small beachy town. When I come into the city and I'm in my Mazda, I'm like that cool glam girl. So my brand is City Style, and if I want to live in a big city, I want to be something. So doing this, it kind of makes me feel like I can get out of Newcastle, but it's up to me to do it. Lady, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Um, I think my brand's pretty just like, I don't know. It's, I don't know how to explain it. I'm still not really sure what I want to do, and it's going to be difficult to be able to portray that in a photo when I have no idea. Where do you guys want to go? I think somewhere beach, skate park. Yeah. We were really thinking like Bondi. It was really good. Linnea wanted the skate park, I wanted the beach, and they're both right next to each other. Why the beach? It's just kind of the lifestyle I lead. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I have zen days where I actually do go, and if I need to chill out, I'll just go and sit on the beach, and, like, I guess it's meditating in a way. In this competition, we'll see how I feel when I take it too seriously. I have anxiety attacks, so I've been trying to take a step back. Whatever happens, happens, and just have fun. Right, so you've gone with the skate thing. Yeah, I feel like maybe they want to push at something a bit more, like, young, sporty, like, mm. fresh. My brand for this challenge was Tomboy. I know it might not be Mazda's ideal kind of girl, but I don't know, it's who I am, so I'm going to stay true to myself. I mean, it's a bit different, and hopefully really. that's what they want. Oh, my God, I love it. Going into this challenge, I'm feeling really confident. Like, I did really well last week, so I'm just trying to channel that. OK, yeah. Wait. Do you need help? We start shooting and I've got so many props. I've got like bags and paint brushes and a book and it completely matches my very boho and artistic brand. Good. Sabine? Yeah? Do you think you're overstyling it a bit too much? No. No? You just don't want it to be too complicated. I like my props and I definitely think my brand and Master 2 brand is represented well, so I'm backing myself. That's cool. Cool. Can I see? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Good. You, you like that, that shot? shot? Okay, you like that shot? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I look at the photos and I really like them. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Time's okay. Okay. So, fingers crossed they like it. Time was just flying by and there was like traffic. It was so stressful. You know, it, it feels like every second is a minute, but there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, it's just so frustrating.
I'm so nervous going into the challenge. Let's go. Okay, we've got to be really quick. I needed to start shooting and I was confused. It looks funny, like. Just give it a little bit more action or something. Okay. I'm, I don't know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I'm really not sure if I'm hitting the brief. Oh my God, guys, we're wasting time. Do you want to keep doing more? Yep. I'm just honestly just so overwhelmed. Next, I need the whole car in it. Cassidy can be a bit difficult. Will rivalry between the girls? Can you just keep taking heaps of photos and we'll just get it done? Result in road rage? I need the master to be in it because that's what we're doing. I want to beat those girls. They're my friends, but they're also my competition. You okay? I don't know. I'm just like... Mm. I don't know, I'm not myself. After mm. last week, I'm really not myself and I just don't want to... I don't know. That's okay. I did like quite a bit of confidence going into the shoot. I guess it is really hard to try and represent yourself. I think it's just hit me. It's top five and like, I really want this and I just... Mm. I, I don't know, it's just been like... The pressure's on yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely on and I'm just like... Oh, I'm super nervous <laughs> and I just don't want it. I don't know, I just really want to do well. Throughout your whole career, there's going to be pressure. There's yeah. going to be moments where you have to shine and the pressure's all on you. Yeah. And it's your moment. If you don't take that moment, it may not happen. Yeah. You never get that moment again. So start again and just go get this now. Yeah? Okay. Good. Go. I really want to win this campaign. My style is just modern, strong, which is exactly what Mazda is. And at the end of the day, you are selling the Mazda brand. And so that's what I focused on getting. Tell me how far. Um, just maybe back to this line would be great. Yeah. I asked Jordan to move the car so that you can see the whole car. I think that's a really quite iconic look. I think that will really be great for the master shot. Do you like that? I like it. I like that. Yeah, okay. okay. So we got it. I think we got the shot. All right, let's go. Come yeah, on. Let's go. I think Elena struggled this morning trying to find who she wanted to be. To be honest, I can't tell you what Elena's brand is. I still have no idea. That's such a good spot. I really like the set in the background. I was really happy to finally get to Bondo. Yeah, so this is what you want? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I felt really under the pump. Just keep taking heaps, right? Okay. And we don't have much time, and we have to leave time to get back. Like, I have 10 minutes. Is that? Smile, smile. Yeah, that's beautiful. You look amazing. But I'm just kind of like not getting myself worked up and not letting it be the be all and end all. And just actually enjoying it being in the moment. That's beautiful. Do you want me to come show you these real quick? Yeah. Oh my god, it's weird seeing the photos. Yeah. I should be no, a photographer. Well and you've got one that's on brand for Mazda? Yeah, there's a couple in there that I'm happy with. Okay. I think, like, let's just get on to yours. Are you ready to yeah. go? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Um, the skate park. So I'm proud. I'm so proud of how far I've come. Like, I think I've really turned a corner here. It's all good. I reckon this is probably the best prize that's been up for grabs yeah, on the show. Yeah, definitely. Whoever wins that, obviously, is going to be jump-started with their modelling career. It's insane because it's national, it's Mazda. Everybody knows what Mazda is, so... This is so oh cool. My God. Oh, I want it so badly. Break it down. What, what would you like? Okay, so what basically what I need, I need the Mazda to be in it because that's what we're doing. I want to be using, like, the back of the car. My brand is City Style, and I knew exactly how I wanted my photo to look. I love it. Your hair looks great. It looks like like you know who you are. Can you just keep taking heaps of photos, and we'll just we'll just get it done. Ready? Okay. Ready? I love that. Elena, can we just keep taking heaps of photos? Cassidy is quite a competitive person and she can be a bit difficult. I need the whole car in it. I need it to show that this is where I'm staying. From this this angle. what I'm doing. I've been shopping. So Elena and I are feeling a bit overwhelmed. As long as you're getting all this in there, like... Cool, I think we've got them. OK, can we tr keep trying some more? I'm obviously, like, I want to win this. OK, do what you want. Ready? I need to be competitive because I want to beat those girls. They're my friends, but they're also my competition. No, well, can I keep going? Because I didn't really have that much time. Wait, how much more time? I've been shooting for how long? Like, what, 10 minutes? 
so that'd be like. We still need to get back to the. the well, what time? What time was the first? What time was the first photo taken? Can you have a look? Cassidy. Okay, you ready? I mean, I don't want to call her a bitch, but it, yeah, it was a challenge. <laughs> How's this for car angles? Is this um, kind of what, you, what you're seeing? A little bit more horizontal. I wanted the skate park, the beach, and the car in the one shot, and we were so rushed for time. Like, do you want me up there? Yeah, up there. But Daisy and me worked really, really well together, so she did help me a lot. That was cool. Make sure you're just looking at me, don't look away. And remember the brief. Where, what, are they, what have they said about the branding? What do they want from the car? you got to remember that stuff. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about Linnea. I think she's forgetting the fact that the car is the hero. It's not just another thing like the skateboard. Maybe I'll just Quick, maybe guys, come, come in a bit closer. My positioning with the car probably wasn't the best, but we were so under time pressure that I just wanted to get any shot. All right. I'm just going to send it. Okay, okay. go, 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 go. Okay. It's sent? Yep. There's a big prize on the line. It's this big print campaign. It could be on, like, billboards. It could be on a bus. I want it so badly, and hopefully I've done enough. Oh, no, I don't want to see this. Hi, girls. Hi, guys. How are we all doing? Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do now is take a look at your photos. Whoever took the best photo will be the new face of the Mazda 2 national print campaign. That prize would be incredible. I want it so badly. I know that my photo hits the brief, so I'm pretty sure that I had a chance of winning. First up is Sabine. <laughs> I feel quite nervous because I've never won a challenge, so I really hope they like it. <gasps> wow, look at you. I think you've nailed the location here. It's sensational. I think you look so beautiful. I just think perhaps you over-accessorised a little bit, but you look stunning otherwise. Up next is Linnea. You look like a girl who knows exactly what yeah. her brand is and what she wants. I think the only issue with this is it's more about you than perhaps it is the car, which makes it tricky to identify that that's a Mazda 2, given that we can't see any Mazda branding on there. I was a bit gutted, but looking back on it, I probably didn't put the car in the best place. So at the end of the day, it is an ad for the Mazda, not the model. Daisy, let's take a look at your photo. I wish I showed more of the car. Daisy, I think you look really strong. I just don't think the back of the car is the best yeah. part of the car to showcase. You've definitely nailed Thank personal you. brand brace, so well done. Thanks. Elena. How did you find the task of defining your own brand? I actually really struggled. I just sort of freaked out a little bit. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And I just sort of questioned myself. I was like, hmm, what's, who am I? And Oh, you didn't need to question yourself. You look so beautiful and strong in this image. The car looks amazing. I would just say that perhaps you're holding back a little bit in your face. Thank you so much. Okay, Cassidy. I'm actually feeling good. I mean, they did a really good job. I hope that they like it because I really do deserve to win. Thank you. Ooh. On a shopping spree? Yeah, I wanted to be like I was opening the boot so you can see that there's bags in there, so it's Great. a good shopping car. Good on you for thinking about it like that. You look absolutely stunning. I just think that perhaps it's lacking the branding a little bit. Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Lauren, I know the girls made it hard to choose, but do you have a winner? I do. And our winner today really captured the Mazda 2 brand. The picture is very, very strong and it's confident. So the winner of today's challenge is Elena. Oh, what? Oh, Congratulations. Wow. 
I know that you didn't feel like you were confident, but you showed the car off beautifully. The Mazda 2 looks striking, and we can't wait to see you in the new Mazda 2 campaign. Congratulations. <gasps> Thank you so much. Good to see you, Kate. I'm so excited. It's Mazda, it's just insane, and I'm so happy. It's so good. Congratulations. Yeah. I feel like I should have won. I mean, I really liked my photo. I feel like it was everything that Lauren asked for. Let's see how the rest of you went. I got an 8.5. And Elena didn't even have a brand. That's just a bit disappointing. I just, like, ran my eyes down the screen. I was just like, nope, 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 nope. And then I was down the bottom. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. Everyone's a point away. It just doesn't put you in the best headspace. I feel pretty bad. So as you can see, girls, the scores were really, really close today and you all did an incredible job. So well done to all of you. And there was parts of this day that kind of really annoyed me and are annoying me right now. Coming up... The amazing Miranda Kerr. Oh! I nearly fainted. <laughs> I swear to God. Who will win the heart? And we're all just like... <laughs> of a Victoria's Secret angel. That's cool. Mm, it's really cool. I'm a little bit annoyed because Helena won the challenge. It just sucks. It really does to cop that, but it's happened. I'm gonna go into that photo shoot and absolutely nail it. It's gonna happen, so given me a bit more drive, a bit more of like a, I don't know, like an anger to, to want to do better. So I'll take it as a positive note and we'll see what tomorrow brings. I would love to make it to top four. I think that's just massive. There is a lot of stakes today, but it's week eight, so it's going to be huge. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard, so at the moment I just really want to do well and prove myself again. We're only like two weeks away from the finale, so I just don't want to go home. <gasps> oh my god! Oh wow! We walk out and set see all these balloons, and I kind of just like had no idea where that was going to go. But like Alex Perry looked like he was like really excited. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know that you're all dying to be introduced to the legend that's standing next to me. He's been in the top of his game for over 30 years. Wow. He's shot celebrities including Linda Evangelista, oh, Naomi Campbell. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was also the photographer that started the career of Elle McPherson. Oh, my God. Girls, say hello to Graham Shearer. Oh. Now, as you know, this week is about learning how to become an influential model. We couldn't teach you about becoming an influential model without bringing in one of the world's most loved models of our time. <laughs> She's graced the cover of every high-end magazine that you can name. And she was Victoria's Secret's very first Australian angel. <laughs> She's the proud creator and director of her very own skincare range, no Cora Organics. Oh my god! I think you know who it is, right? Oh my god! I nearly fainted. I guess so to God. Please welcome the amazing Miranda Kerr. Miranda Kerr is honestly like an angel sent from heaven. Oh, Are you? Thank you. Nice to meet you, girl. Oh my god. She looks like airbrushed and like perfect, and we were all just like. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Hi. Miranda, what do you think of our final five? Oh, all of you are so beautiful and so unique, which is it's really quite exciting. To be an influential model, you need to know how to make a statement. 
So today, you're going to be modeling in over the top costume inspired clothing. Oh my God. <laughs> It's really important that you own it and that you feel confident because that's what shines through. I was really worried because it is obviously hard to stand out when you've got so much going on. Wearing the crazy outfit, working with balloons, I just hope that I can pull it off. Me too, I can't wait. And actually, I have a little gift for all of you. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Girls, your beautiful gift bags from Miranda are going to be waiting in hair and makeup for you. Thank you. So, girls, you've got a lot of styling to do today. Cheyenne's going to be here later on to mentor you as well. So, get going. Oh, you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. To actually think that Miranda has gone out of her way to give us all something is just so precious. We got everything. Now we can flow like Miranda. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? Yeah, I was in the bottom two last week, and then I got a, I'm at the bottom for the challenge. So it's a lot of oh, oh, pressure. Good. You won't go anywhere in life without pressure. Okay. I'm definitely not in a great headspace, and the styling was like insane. Oh my god! I keep forgetting that I look like this, and then I look in the mirror. I'm like, wow, wow. And I was like, oh my god, we're wearing that. <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> I was just wondering what they were going to do to you. Like, I mean, obviously I wouldn't wear it every day of the week. Yeah, um, I'm a tomboy. I'm used to wearing sneakers and jeans. And here I am wearing these, like, pink pants. And I have, like, this hot pink fringe. It's really not me, you know. That, look, that looks right, good. Look. Maybe try one with the arm down, like, very simple. But Miranda was really helpful, giving me actual tips. See with your bag here. Mm -hmm. Maybe just hold it like like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You made me feel so relaxed. Maybe turn your chin a little bit that way. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very cute. It was pretty cool. That's better. That's cute. That's good. Very good. Now on your toes. It looks really nice. There's good energy in that too. Yeah, like, Woohoo! Hi! Yoi! Okay. Yep. We're done. Good girl. I feel pretty good. Um, they seemed happy, so I hope they are. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I still can't believe I did it. I hope she likes me. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Linnea took direction well. Come she on. is willing to learn. The photos were brilliant, so she did really well. Do you feel like you've grown a lot in the competition? Yeah, I love this competition so much because I can now feel like I have what it takes. At home, I felt like I was kind of trapped and there was nothing for me there, but now being here, I know that I can get out and I want so much more from my life. This photo shoot means so much this week and I know how badly I want to win this competition and just stay. So I'm really nervous going in. Oh, my shoes keep falling off. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Good you. Hello. I actually really loved what I was wearing. I had this beautiful, like, long ball gown dress on. It was really fierce. What about if you were, like, walking through with the balloon? Like, yeah. Yeah, there was quite a strong walk. Go off you go. Sorry, the shoes are really big for me. Yeah. I've had that trouble a lot. Big problem. The shoes didn't fit. Shoes, well, I wasn't a fan. The shoes are uh, quite big. It's just really hard. I was tripping and they kept slipping off. Pretend like you're opening a show. Nice. It's yeah. more about the energy that yeah. you can bring to it. OK. Yeah. So, like, just walking, like, hips are in it. Yeah. Sorry, the shoes. And if the shoes, if yeah. they, we just so have to soldier keep... through it. Yeah. yeah. I'm worried about not doing a good job and not getting the brief right. Miranda was saying, you know, try this, more energy, do that. I was just like, oh, my God. All I could really focus on was my shoes. The stronger your walk, the more the dress moves. You know, for me, Cassidy didn't give us big, didn't give us amazing. Cassidy, last couple of frames, anything you want to do different? Can I just stay in the middle? You can do whatever you want. Okay. Do whatever you want. Everything was tentative. And in that sort of clothing, you need to be as large as it is. OK, done. Sorry about the shoes. You can take them off now. I can take them off. It was really overwhelming, shooting in front of Miranda Kerr. The shoes were really throwing me off. Thank you so much for all your no help. Worries. I really so appreciate it. Thank you. 
fingers crossed it's enough because it means so much to me. Like, I just, just need to get final four. I need that spot. So it's photo shoot day. The brief today is to wear all these colourful, insane, larger than life costumes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I really like the outfit, like a purple dress with orchids on it. Look at you. <laughs> wow. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, yeah. I kind of look like the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. So I'm definitely going to tap into my creative side and really channel that character. That's cool. Mm, it's really cool. Good. Nice. Oh, she makes it look like fashion. Yeah. yeah. You have such a good, like, stare. <laughs> yeah. It suits this really well, strong and intense. So, Ben, have you been practicing doing something? What's different today? I don't know. I love what I'm wearing, I suppose. And it is okay. all about confidence. Great shows. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. I suppose it did give me a lot of confidence getting through tens last week. It's just, it's crazy how far I've come. It's great. Yeah, you look really good. Good. Nice. And good. we're done. Good job. Good job. Sabine really did own it energetically. She was like, here I am. You have such a good face when you, like, really turn it on for the camera. Thank you. <laughs> I am a cupcake. Wow. wow. Oh, I was on the bottom for the challenge, so I was going to go out there and give my all and do my absolute best. Are you ready? Yeah. But if I ever think things, it just pushes me further down, so I'm just going to have fun and stay positive. Okay. The brief is great. Um, make a huge statement and be really dramatic. So I start trying to get a lot of shape in my arms. Daisy, it looks better when you elongate, yeah. She needs to be more aware of, like, her body and her hands because she was doing a lot of this. So I was just, like, cringing a little. What about if you smile? What, how does it look? I kind of didn't want to smile because my main problem in almost all my photos is my mouth. Almost like you're laughing, like, oh, my goodness, look at me. I'm in this blue dress. It's so cute. Like, think about your friend just cracked a joke. Yeah, like that. But Miranda Co was asking me to smile. Of course you're going to do that. That's nice. The smile's great. Yeah, yeah that's, that's beautiful. She kind of looks like Elmwood person a little bit, yeah. doesn't she? Mm. Really, like, Elmwood lights person. up. Yeah. And the minute she does it, nothing like her. No. When she smiles, she looks incredible. So I think that relaxes her mouth. And then the pictures when she wasn't smiling are also really lovely. Okay, last couple. Just anything, anything you want of to do? your own thing. Standing up. Standing up. Go for it. Good. That's good. And again. That's good. Uh, that's that really pretty. Yeah, Come that's this. really pretty. Really pretty. Yeah, there. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. That was really fun. That was fun. <laughs> I think I did well. Um... I don't know if it's enough to stay because, like, the girls are all really good. But thank you, guys. Yeah. They didn't seem, like, disappointed in me or anything, so... We'll see. She's there was, so there beautiful when she really, smiles. Yeah, it's her biggest asset. Hi, hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I actually feel really nervous. No, I'm really worried. Why? Just because there's so much pressure today. This shoot's super important. Yeah. Pretend that you're this is a paid modeling job and you can do it. Yeah. I think Elena was a bit thrown aback. Let's go. She was really rattled and really unsure about herself. Hello, look at you. Hello. That's right. Yes. It was actually Alex Perry's dress. He designed that dress and he's going to be watching me shoot in it. So definitely lots of pressure there. No idea how tight this dress is right now. Dress it's so tight and slim that I can barely move. It looks good exaggerating. So you just have to try and use your arms as much as you can. Just be mindful of your hands. Always think like long hands. Mm -hmm. Elena looked really beautiful. The dress fit her body beautifully. Keep it elegant and long. It's trying to teach her about her hands not being like a paw. Try the fingers to be a little more like, yeah, that. Longer. Like you're clawing them over, like, you almost don't do that. Delicate, longer. There is only five girls left, and, you know, there's a 20% chance I'm going home. Oh, I just really want to nail this, and I can't nail it. I'm crazy about the hands. Yeah, we all are. All right, that's a wrap. I didn't feel like that went very well at all.
Next. Bottom line is, this photo will determine who's going into the top four. A shock elimination. I've always expected more from you, to be perfectly honest. Wow. incredible it would be great but I can't let myself visualize it too much because of my challenge score there is a good chance I'm going home sometimes I feel like I want this more than anyone if I was crowned Australia's next top model it would be the best thing that would ever happen to me and I just want to be able to make it a reality I really just felt under pressure. I didn't feel like, oh, I got an amazing shot at the photo shoot. There's two weeks left until the finals, so I just don't want to go home. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi. This week, you had to step up and learn what it takes to be a truly influential model. You had a huge Mazda challenge. And you met Miranda Kerr. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty incredible week. Yeah, definitely. Now we are so close to the end. Today is going to be incredibly tough, girls. Good luck to each of you. Thank you. I'm super nervous. I'm really freaking out. I mean, I was in the bottom two last week. Linnea, step forward. I didn't do well in the challenge, so I have no idea what's to come. Hello. 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 So for the photo shoot, how do you think you went? It was about, you know, trying to stand out in a big outfit. So I tried to bring a lot of energy. So, Linnea, you're at the bottom of the scoreboard at the moment. But whether you make it into the top four all depends on this photo. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. wow, this is insane. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. Do you like it? I really like it. It's so not me. Like, it's ridiculous. It's good, though. Good. Look at you with your black ripped jeans. <laughs> I find it so fascinating that you look like a doll, but you're such a tomboy. <laughs> You've embraced this cutesy, girly character. I love it. I'm giving you a nine. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I love this picture, too. You were up for it. You were like swinging the umbrella around. <laughs> I'm going to give you a nine today as well. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I could see that on a cover. And your face would sell magazines. You are that good. And there's nothing more to say, so it's a 10 for me. So that's a total of 35.5 out of 40. <laughs> well done, Linnea. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. That's an amazing score. Oh, thank you. Well done. Oh, yes. That's such a good photo. Sabine, step forward. I love this girl. You great this week. Thank you. Yeah, do you think the photo shoot went okay? Yeah, um, it was pretty cool. Like, it was so eccentric. I really tried to make it a positive thing. Let's have a look. I'm dying to see it. Wow. wow. You've got this Mad Hatter wild gypsy thing going on, which is so freaking cool. Yeah. And that's what that shoot is, and you've embodied it 100%. Thank you. You look absolutely incredible. I'm giving you a nine. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I really like this shot of you. You look like you should be in a movie. <laughs> For me, it's an eight. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love this picture too. Um, and you, you gave a lot of options. I'm giving you an eight. Thank you. So, Sabine, that means that's a 33.5 out of 40. Well done. Cassidy, step forward. I know that I did well in the challenge. I got an 8.5, but that's only a point higher than the two bottom girls. I just pray to God that that photo is enough for the judges to keep me here. 
So the photo shoot, how do you think you went this week? Um, I actually have no idea. The dress was so huge, it was really heavy and I was trying to get like a walking photo. I'm so interested to see your shot. Yeah. All right, I need to see it. Yeah, let's see it. Do you like this? I thought that I'd be like walking and being like, like that. It was a big dress and it was a heavy dress and it needed some real power behind it to kick it out because it wasn't getting enough movement. That was the whole point of this. It's kind of like theatrical fashion. Yeah, and I think when the fashion's that extreme, especially when it's so bold, it can run the risk of overpowering you unless you step it up. I don't know, it's just my shoes were like 10 times too big for me. I kept falling out of them. Oh, yeah. that happens. We've got to keep going. Seriously, if stuff doesn't fit, it, you kind of got to almost expect it. Looking at this shot, though, I do think it's a great shot of you. The detail is at the back of the dress, so I love what you're doing. I think you could have done more with your arms and your face, particularly. So I'm going to give you an eight. Thank you. I don't know how, but you're pulling off that weird bonnet cap thing. But it's just, you could have owned that dress a lot more. But I'm going to give you an eight. Thank you. I think you look beautiful here. But I know it's almost like a portrait shot. I don't think it hits the brief. I'm going to give you a 6.5. Yeah. So, Cassidy, that's a 31 out of 40. So that means you're at the bottom of the Bob. But there's still more girls to score. Thanks, Cassidy. Thank you. I was really shocked. I didn't expect it to be that photo. It just wasn't on brief. If I go home, I will never forgive myself. It looks amazing. I know, but it's not hitting the brief. Elena, step forward. I honestly want to be in top four so bad, but I'm not feeling confident at all. I really have no idea what the photo's going to look like. I am so worried. So do you think you did okay in the photo shoot? I, I didn't walk off feeling that I had, I don't know, I didn't get that moment where I thought I got the shot. I don't know. Right, let's have a look. So do you think you did okay in the photo shoot? I don't know, I didn't get that moment where I thought I got the shot. Let's have a look. Ooh. Wow. Do you like this, Elena? I do, I just wish my hands were different. Mm. This hand. Oh, I just... Both hands, if I'm honest. Yeah, I just... I just feel like it's a bit 101 modelling. Just yeah. like hand, hand. And we've been saying it since week one and I just want it to be sorted out by now. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. I was watching it all the time. And we kept saying Miranda it to you. Miranda mentioned hands as well. Yeah. And it was like it went in through one ear and out the other. This shot is good. Your face is amazing. But I've always expected more from you because I can see what it is that you can do. For this one, I'm going to give you a 7.5. Thank you. I would have loved, you know, some more stronger shapes with your arms and to not have them so soft and be aware of those hands. Your body's just incredible and that shape that you're making is, is wonderful and you'll learn to do that. You know, there's a lot going on. It was a crazy shoot and I still think you did really well. I'm going to give you an 8.5. Thank you so much. The only thing that bugs me are your hands. But um, in saying that, you have sold me that dress. I mean, it's your dress. I just realised that, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I think your face looks incredibly beautiful. Thank you. And you've worked your body here. So I'm giving you a 9.5. Thank you. Thank you. So with your challenge score, that gives you a total of 35 out of 40. <laughs> That means you were safe. And through to the top four. Thank you so much. Thank you. Top four, that's just amazing. I honestly would never in a million years imagine top four. That's like, whoa. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy and I'm relieved. 
Good God. You look like a statue. Oh. I'm in the bottom two. I deserve to be here over, you know, some of the girls. I know I want it a hundred times more than what they do. Remember, Cassidy, it's not over yet. We still have to score Daisy. And now it does just come down to Daisy's photo. I'm petrified. <sighs> Daisy, step forward. Hi, guys. I'm feeling unusually calm, this elimination, because I guess I've accepted staying and going. Hey. Hi. Hi. So, Daisy, you're at the bottom of the scoreboard after the challenge. Do you think you've done enough to stay? I didn't come off that feeling like, holy crap, nailed it. I felt like I did the best of my ability. And I feel like I've really improved and, and I made it, like, much further than I was expecting to. You're kind of almost like you're ready to say goodbye in a way if you have to. Um, of course I'd love to stay, but I feel like I've come far enough if I do have to go to have a good modelling career. That's my way of like helping me with my anxiety and it's just been doing like wonders. Very healthy way of thinking. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look. What do you think, Daisy? <sighs> oh, I don't love it. I don't know. Why don't you love it? Because I didn't want to smile. Like, I like that I though. That smile, like the minute you did that, Miranda loved it. It's like Ellen McPherson's smile. Oh. Do you know what? I think your smile's great. And you, your face looks amazing, but it's like from last week when your body was just bang. Yeah. It's not there. Mm. You've got so much potential. I thought you think you compare it to last week. She was headless. Yeah, I think the body where she nailed it last week is not getting nailed. It's headless. You can't compare it to a headless picture. For me, when you're turning a page in a magazine, you want to stop. You want feeling. But it feels uneasy to me. Oh, no, I don't think it's uneasy, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but I can't, like, but do, so, okay. You can't cope right now, can you? Okay, the bottom line is, this photo will determine who's going into the top four. So it's kind of like we need our top four to be, like, amazing and to pull off every shot, so... Do I think you did so anyway? Much. There was a lot of options there. There were, like, really good things. So yeah, I guess that's kind of colouring my opinion as well. I've got the, there's something there. Well, I guess I guess Jen and I can't sort of vouch for that because you did see stuff on the day that we didn't see. Daisy, you need a total score of more than 31 to stay safe in the competition. Cassidy, can you step forward? Okay. How are you? I'm devastated. Daisy, what's going through your mind right now? At the moment, I'm okay. Yeah, it's not fun. But you can't let it be the be-all and end-all, otherwise you'll drive yourself crazy. Hearing her say that, I'm thinking, like, go home then and let me stay, because I'll do so much more with it than what you will. What's going on, Cassidy? I can see your mind ticking. Um, this competition just means, like, absolutely everything. At this point in time, it is the be-all and end-all. I've never had anything special like this happen to me in my life, and I know that I have so much more to give. Do you think if you go home that you'll never do this? Because you kind of give us this impression that if you don't win this, then it's all done. Rather than, I'm still going to keep going. As much as I would like to think that way, I just can't. I just need to make it here. Unfortunately, only one of you can go through to next week in the final four. Judgment day. Daisy, I think you have a gorgeous smile. I love seeing it in this shot. But you feel a little bit awkward there. So it's a 7.5 from me. Thanks. Daisy, it's gorgeous to see that smile. But I thought you were getting the hang of how to move your body and I just don't think it's, it's come off right this week. Um, so I'm going to give you a 7.5. I don't think that is a score to save me. She needs a nine. 
Daisy, in order to stay safe in the competition, you need a nine or more from Alex. Yeah. Daisy, I love this photo. It makes me happy. I love your smile. I disagree with the girls. I'm giving you a nine. Wow. Holy crap. Really? Daisy, congratulations. That means you're safe. I don't think it's worth You're in our top four. Well done. You can go and join the others. Oh my God, can I have a hug or something? Yeah. I was devastated. Like, I wanted this more than anything in the world when she didn't care about it that much. Cassidy, I'm so sorry. That means you have been eliminated. You are an incredible girl. You've been on a roller coaster this whole time. And you've made me proud. You've done so well, honey, to come yeah. this far. You shone so much throughout this competition. And please don't go home and think this is the end because you just need to get out there and do it. Don't wallow in it. Don't go, oh, I'm defeated. It's not about that. It's just this week wasn't your week. Come, give me a cuddle. You can do it. Yeah. I don't believe in you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Physically, I was feeling like I wanted to throw up. I won't just say Thank you. bye. That's okay, I'm just gonna walk straight out. You will see me thrive. Oh, she's devastated. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. She wasn't listening to us. No. I just need to get out of here. I really, I'm about to freak out. I'm angry. I thought my photo was way better than Daisy's. And Alex just obviously liked Daisy's better. I'm kind of glad that I'm going home now because I don't need this show to do amazing things. It's up to me now. Next time, I'm taking you to Italy. We're going to Milan! A trip to the fashion capital of the world challenges the final four. We are already taking too long. It's very scary, like scary. I had a panic attack. <laughs> I'm just like gonna blow this whole opportunity for myself. And a high fashion photo shoot. I never thought I'd be wearing Valentino boots. I'm in head to toe Dolce & Gabbana. Leaves no room for error. Not too cozy. I honestly just blanked. It's so hectic. So many things passing by, so she's a bit distracted. And relax the mouth. My mouth. I just didn't want to hear it. Especially so close to the finish line. Finale, finale, finale. Everything comes down to this photo. I was freaking out.